1890. All is well at the Grace Bible Seminary. Gentlemen, are Dr. Carlisle has authored a manuscript entitled The Changing Times. The board is about to endorse their top professor's latest book. Insightful, Russell. Excellent reading. I, too, Russell, found it highly thought-provoking. Despite several misspelled words and much bad grammar, I have no objection. <laughs> <laughs> but when a member refuses to consent... What Dr. Carlisle is implying is that we can put forth the standards of Christ apart from his name. And I think this is deadly. Everything will change. Sir, I would like to ask for an exception to the unanimity rule by the board. Doctor, I cannot change the policy. Such endorsements must be unanimous. Two colleagues will become adversaries. I am surprised you will not endorse the book. To be more accurate, I am shocked. I have invited you to my home to explain why I am saying this. A friendship will be tested. What is this? This machine can transport a person through time. I beg your pardon? And the only thing that can settle their dispute... Norris, what is happening? ...is a journey... Norris! ...to the future. Now, in the 21st century... You must have come in on a long trip, huh? One could say that. Russell Carlyle will come face to face... And who are you, mister? ...with a future he never imagined. May I ask where you attend church? Oh, I ain't got no time for no church. A future he was warned about. Young lady, you do understand that stealing is a sin. Says who? And the only way he can make things right... This is an extremely critical time for the church. ...is to turn back the clock. You must stop this movie! The man on the screen just blasphemed the name of the Lord! This guy must be one of those legalists who thinks all movies are sinful. Pardon me? D. David Morin. Thank you for treating me in such a fair and Christian manner. Gavin McLeod. My friend, time travel is possible. Hal Linden. I would strongly urge you to resolve your differences with Dr. Anderson. Jennifer O'Neill. I always believed in God, but I didn't have a clue who Jesus Christ was. Richard Reilly. I just see this as a matter of standing up for something which you believe is important. And Paul Rodriguez. Hey, preacher man got himself some new threads, huh? Threads? You know, clothes. Rags, Opa. They say no one can change the past. Russell Carlyle's been dead since 1936. I can't be the same guy. One man must. Carlyle, can I hurry to go somewhere? Time changer. You must see for yourself what happens in the future. A rich Cristiano film. What's wrong with you? You've been living in the 1890s or something?